my dear friend Rupa Manjari. When will I be able to see you with my mistress decorating her dearest one with flower ornaments in the grove cottage on the bank of her own lake? My dear friend Rupa Manjari, when Will I be able to see you with my mistress decorating her dearest one with flower ornaments in the grove cottage on the bank of her own lake? Notes. Sri Raghunath's friendship with Sri Rupa is complete. So only this sentence is already shaking me up in my boots, so to say. It is a complete relationship between Sri Raghunath and Sri Rupa. What is the meaning of this complete, this completion? It is a friendship that is meeting and participating in the spiritual senses. Complete also means prayojan. It has reached the level of prem. It is so deep and so full of confidential feelings that they are always connected. And that's why the address is my dear friend. And here, Raghunadas Goswami is praying that he wants to see how Rupa Manjari is seeing Rupa and Swamini together decorating Mohan. The Leela is at the midday time. The Leela is at Radhakund. This is the place where they are very, very much close and there's no disturbance and they share a lot of time there in their sports. And what is the meaning of friendship? They have met at Radha Kund and maybe before in Jagannath Puri shortly. But when Raghunath Das became Rupa Goswami's disciple, he got all his moods from him. He got his Swarup from him. His realizations of his Swarup, they started at Radha Kunda. He was in the hands of Swarup Damoda before because when uh, Raghunath Das Goswami got the mercy of Sri Nityananda, then he came to Jagannath Puri in the full service and in full bhajan. But he was guided by La, uh, Swarup Damoda, and we know that Swarup Damoda is Lalita. So we can ask ourselves. Well, if he was educated and guided by Swarup Damoda, is he not complete already in his relationship to Chaitanya? No. He needed the mercy and the guidance of Rupa Goswami, of Sanatan Goswami, of the Dasis of Srimati Radhika. That is his constitutional position. He is a Dasi of Srimati Radhika. And as we know, even when Swamini is offering him friendship as a Saki, as her friend, she says, no, 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 Swamini, I put this on my head. I pray, you know, to your gopis and to your friends. But I, for myself, I am happy to be your Dasi. And when you are happy, I am happy. 
So I just want to be a Darcy. So a Darcy has to be trained by another Darcy. So Raghunath Das Goswami has been training, you know, has been trained by Rupa Goswami. And so much so that they meet now at Radhakund in their spiritual senses. And that's why Baba writes, his friendship with Sri Rupa is complete. There is no more doubts. There is no more, you know, mental concoction. If Rupa Goswami will be the right one for me, is he really my guru? <laughs> no, it is a hundred percent fixed in that relationship and fully, fully become in this so called Vishramba bath. That means no fear and no borders no limits of their closest relationship, so much so that they meet each other in their services. And once I remember Gurudev was telling, I am waiting for you there. Where are you? I'm waiting there for you in the spiritual world, in the spiritual existence, in our eternal position. And where are you? So Gurudev is also waiting for their disciples to develop that intimacy, that sweet, you know, closeness, and that 108% nishta. And we know we start with Guru Nishta. Without Guru Nishta, we cannot have Ishta Nishta and also not Svarup Nishta. It doesn't work like that. And I found a quote for that from Baba. I like it very much in the Naratam Das Thakur's Prema Bhakti Chandrika, where he writes, He who desires to learn about the most auspicious devotional principles should take shelter of the feet of Shri Guru, who knows the scriptures and who has practical experience of God through his practice of devotion. If Shri Guru Dev does not know the truth, he cannot erase the student's doubts about bhajan matters. And if he is not devoted, he cannot infuse bhajan experiences into his student. So the Guru is waiting, Sri Guru is waiting that he can, you, you know, inject the different, different uh, bhajan experiences into our hearts. Isn't that a nice meditation? Isn't that uh, a sweet, um, you know, expectation and prayer that, oh, please, Gurudev, will you make me qualified that I can have no more uh, doubts and no more mental or any, you know, this manovriti tendencies that make me always go back and forth and this ping pong and I like it because this is the subject here this friendship is complete they are friends here they are disciple and guru here and they are also there and there they want to see each other in their services and uh, especially here the scene is the Radha Kund. Why does he suddenly perceive, perceive Sri Rupa Manjari in his bhajan, in his meditation? These visions are also real and are as blissful as if he would directly meet her. In his Abhishta Suchana, Sri Raghunath writes, 
May my desire for Sri Radha's service be endowed with spotless thoughts of Sri Rupa and thus stay engaged in Sri Radha's devotional service. Together with Sri Rupa, he wants to relish the vision of his beloved deity. And also what came to me. Look, it's so funny. Now he writes, my dear friend Rupa Manjari, when will I be able to see you? And the beginning verse of uh, Sri Vilappa Kushmanjali, which is also the Guru Vandana, the prayer to Sri Guru, he also says, my dear friend Sri Rupa Manjari. And in that verse, Sri Rupa Manjari is coming to get Rati Manjari to the Kunj. And she has a cut on her lip. And she has, that is a sign that she has been serving the divine couple. Because whatever the Manjaris experience in their services to the Yuga Lakishore, they will also have some bodily symptoms on themselves on their transcendental bodies. And in this one, in this verse, Raghunadas or Rati Manjari is, is praying, I want to see you decorating uh, with together with Swamini, her beloved. So that is the topmost friendship. But also, this relationship between the Guru and the disciple is also cultivated and applied in this world in our Sadaka Dehas. Shri Guru is plowing the land of our hearts, of my heart, and making it soft so that the injections and the seeds can go in there and will be growing and you know, blooming. And this is such a wonderful meditation and an invitation also to invite Sri Guru Dev in my heart to plow and to make it soft and to please help me to, to realize your relationship, our relationship and my relationship to Swamini so that we can serve together Guru Dev. First of all, I serve you because I have no realization of Swamini. But by your mercy, by your relationship with Swamini, you will also help me to realize my relationship with Swamini. You will guide me there. Like Rupa Mandari is, uh, you know, guiding many Mandaris there and, and, and uh, giving them the chance to do service. What? So that? Radhita, sorry. Radhita Arun Babaji. No, Babaji. <laughs> Krihasta. <laughs> Bokananda. Okay, sorry. Swami Bokananda. Swami Bokananda. So, so Radhita. what came? What came to me was just when you said this uh, beautiful part about Shri Guru. Honestly speaking, when I look back years and years, the most important moment in our lives is when Sri Gurudev is giving us the seed of bhakti. So this moment, from that moment on, the lives will be changed because without this action, Sri Gurudev as a representative of Srimati Radharani, without this action of putting the seed into our heart, of the, the seed of bhakti into our heart, absolutely nothing can happen. Yasya Prasado, Bhagavad Prasado, Yasya Prasado, Nakati Kutopi. So there is no, nothing to attain without the mercy of Sri Gurudev. So I found there's one interesting uh, uh, paragraph by Srila Jiva Goswami in his son Darbas that the heart of the Jiva is like a fertile field. And there is everything is there in the heart, like in the field to grow a wonderful plant or a wonderful flower. So all the farmer has to do is go to the field and put in the seeds and then the plants are growing. Everything else is done 
by the field. So Jiva Goswami says that actually that is the heart of the living entity, that this seed enters into the heart by the mercy of Gurudev, and then that seed can grow nicely if we cultivate it nicely. So I, I wrote a letter to Baba, and Baba answered it in a video that this is the most important process when, when Gurudev is, go, is giving us, like in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Guru Bhakti Lata Beach. So this Bhakti Lata Beach, this seed for performing Bhakti is all the mercy of Sri Gurudev and further on the mercy actually of Swamini because our Gurudev in our paramparas, in yours and mine, is a representative of, of Swamini. So this is a very beautiful meditation. Always, every day, remember the most important day in your life was when you met your Gurudev and you got Diksha from him. So this is always something we should treasure. Thank you, Tarun. May my desire for Sri Radha's service be endowed with spotless thoughts of Sri Rupa and thus stay engaged in Sri Radha's devotional service. See, that is also so sweet. Is it not an independent activity? They belong together for eternity and they want to serve for eternity. And that is expressed here. And that is our goal. That is our meditation. Sri Rupa and Tulasi have brought Swamini to the Kunj. Just decorated by Hari on the bank of Sri Radha Kunda. How beautiful is the bank of Sri Radha Kunda? Radha Kunda, Shyama Kunda, Tire Raya Shoba, Varnana Nayoyo, Radha Krishna Manoloba. The beauty of the banks of Radhakund and Shamakund cannot be described. It fascinates Radha and Krishna. The beloved Kunda is as dear to Krishna as his beloved is. As soon as he sees it, he remembers her. Because Kunda is endowed with Priyaji's qualities of dearness, it bestows a love equal to Radha's on one who bathes there even once. It bestows a love equal to Radha's love on one who bathes there even once. There we have the subject again, Gurudev. Shrimati Radhika is Mahabhar. So by bathing in her Radha Kunda, in her liquid, divine existence, we also can get some of that Mahabhav, some of that devotion to devote our lives to the one who is devotion personified. The Kunda is as sweet as Radha's sweetness. And the Kunda is as glorious as Radha's glories. Krishna gives a love equal to Radha's to anyone who bathes in this kunda even once. This is, this is our great fortune. This is our great fortune, what you just read, Suniti, that actually there is for Krishna, if, if it's for Krishna, there is no difference for Krishna in seeing the kunda and his swamini. So how blessed are we in this birth that we know about Radha Kund, we know what is going on there, we know by Mahaprabhu's grace what is going on there, why it is the sac most sacred place for Radha and Krishna. So we are so blessed that actually just by seeing 
Radha Kund, with our eyes, with my material eyes, I'm actually seeing Swamini, but I don't realize it now. So Baba said that one day it will come. So we are so fortunate that actually the lake, the Kunda is there and we can see it with our own eyes. This is an extraordinary mercy from, from Swamini. And there is one beautiful line, very easy to remember, which I say every day in the morning time from Raghunath Dasku Swami's Radha come the last line in every verse, he says, Tadadi Surabi Radha Kundam Eva Shrayome. So he compares Radha Kund with a Surabi, with a wish fulfilling lake. And he said, Tadadi Surabi Radha Kundam Eva Shrayome. Eva Shrayome means, please, Radha Kund, let me take shelter at your lotus pond. So this is a very powerful line, Tadadi Surabi. Radha Kundam, Eva Shrayami, take shelter at the Swamini's place, which is filled with the tears of Radhika's love. So this is so important to understand that we can see that lake with our own eyes. This is very beautiful. And by Gurudev's mercy, we can understand what is the meaning of that place. There is this beautiful, beautiful verse. I think it's in, it's coming at the end of Vilap Kusamanjali and also in Radha Rasa Sutta Nidhi, where Radha Kunda is beautifully described. The meeting takes place in the Kunda's Madana Sukara Kunj. Swamini's Hari, the enjoyer of the solitary grove, Radha's heart's friend, cannot be attained without taking exclusive shelter of Radha's lotus feet. Whenever anybody wants to share, please just jump in. You know that, right? Sheila Narottam Dastako has said, Brajapura Vanitara Charana Ashraya Sada Koro Mana Ekanta Koriya. O mind, take exclusive shelter of the gopis of Braja. That is essential. Hari Vibushita Keli Kunja means the Kunja was decorated by Hari's mere presence. Or Hari decorated this kunja with his own hands. While personally decorating the trysting kunja, Swamini's Hari thought, my Priyachi will be so eager to play certain pastimes with me after she sees how nicely I decorated this kunja. Adolescent Kishora Krishna is the transcendental, youthful Cupid who is able to make the ordinary Cupid faint. Mounting the chariots of the gopis, he agitates Cupid. Hence, he is known as Madan Mohan. He who beautifies Radha's shoulder with his brilliant arm is our worshipable one. Radha Raman enjoys in the kunj. So what I like about this verse is how it prepares us to enter into the Leelas. We need the mercy of the entire Guru Parampara. We listen about the Leelas to purify ourselves and to engage in the Manasiseva or try to do that. But 
The mercy how to enter the Leela is given by Srimati Radhika through the channel of Sri Guru. So nothing will work in a different order. That's why Sri Guru is glorified in the beginning and especially Raghunatha Goswami is glorifying his Sri Guru Devi, his dear friend Rupa Manjari. Also Rupa, also Rupa Goswami is writing in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu the first thing happening in the 64 Angas of Bhakti is Guru Padashraya Diksha Shiksha. So these three things are coming. This is the first line when Rupa Goswami is writing. Guru Padashraya means taking shelter at the lotus feet of Guru, giving Diksha to the disciple and receiving Shiksha from Guru Dev are the first three things happening in our journey in Bhakti. So nothing is more important than these three things. Radhe, Radhe. I'm sorry that I'm interrupting you. Uh, can someone put Ramani in translation room because her internet is broken? Oh, you are not interrupting Goranga. Please add your flavors also. No, <laughs> Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Brindavan calling. We're uh, we're taking care of it. Radhe, Radhe, please, if you can support me. We're doing one moment. So Radha Raman enjoys in the Kunja. This innocent adolescence, Muktai Kaishora of him, makes Swamini restless. Swamini becomes mad when she subdues Shyam in their love play, but she still is unsatisfied, so she will teach him some new games. Our hero is under her control. And Swamini appropriates him to her own use. Rupa Manjari and Tulasi are relishing the sweetness of this new pastime. This is the subject of the Gaudiya Vaishnava's meditation. This is the subject of the Gaudiya Vaishnava's meditation. And I remember, Gurudev, you always say, yes, we have to be ekantic. We want to be one-pointed to Swamini. We want to develop, you know, our staibhav, our fixed understanding. What does it mean to feel and to be in the service, in the mood of a uh, Dasi of Srimati Radhika. And then our goal is Yugala Seva also. Our service is to be of service of Srimati Radhika in any kind of way she wants to mold us. But first, before that will happen, we need a Sri Guru Devi who has accepted me in their hearts to mold us in the way for the service of Swamini like she wants to use us. That is such an such a important point. We cannot go to Radharani alone. There are some gatekeepers. Rupa Manjari is giving the service and the, uh, you know, Abhideya, this understanding that, okay, I am not this body and I have to, you know, 
adjust my feelings now on the soul level. And then comes Prayojan. And this is by the mercy of Rati Manjari. And you know, Shri Guru Charane Rati, Eisei Uttama Gatti. So it's not that I immediately develop a Rati to uh, Rupa and Raghunath. First of all, I develop Rati for my Guru Dev that he will give me Seva. And I have to develop this attachment because with this attachment, there will be no stai bhav. There will be no fixed emotions or fixed uh, consciousness that can guide me to the next level. And Shri Guru can see it, can feel it and is waiting. Waiting for me to realize our eternal relationship and to go deeper in my bhakti, in my giving up any independence. And that's the point when Gurudev makes arrangements. Swami making an arrangement through Gurudev, and I don't know what will happen in my life. I don't know how Dr. Javan is coming here. I have no idea. She asked me, and Man Mohan, we were driving yesterday in the car, how it happened. I said, I don't know how it happened, really. It just happened. It's not a plan. It's a divine arrangement that will bring some special service opportunities to go deeper. And that is, uh, I think, a very important feeling. I'm working on it to always feel guided, to always feel connected, and to be like a shadow of my Gurudev and all my brothers and sisters and always want to, you know, serve and be a servant and train it in my heart and in my consciousness. It is not a burden. It is a love and it is something beautiful. It will bring some beautiful uh, um, feelings and realizations. Also, <clears throat> also, I, if I may, Sunidhi, sorry if I... Oh, you don't have to may. You just do it. I am lost okay. here. Um, um, also, this, this the principle of Anukatya. I like this idea of Anukatya is there from step one till the last step. So we are in Anukatya. We are following. We are taking shelter of Gurudev in this life with our Sadakateya. And the Anukatya will continue also in our next, uh, in our spiritual deha uh, with Guru Manjari. So this principle of Anukatya is foremost in our spiritual life that we, like you said, should always be, always think ourselves guided. We, shall, we are guided by the mercy of Gurudev and then we are guided by the mercy of Guru Manjari. And like you read in the beginning, the qualifications of a Sri Guru as Sat Gurudev. So we are so immensely fortunate that right now Srila Sadhu Maharaj, our beloved Gurudev, is sitting in our midst who, who fulfills all these qualities of a, of a true Sadguru who he can see our heart, he knows the truth, he can impart that truth into our hearts. So these qualities, Jiva Kusmami is giving uh, the qualification of a true Guru. Baba wrote this in his Guru, Tattva Vigyan. So we are so immensely fortunate that uh, Maharaj, Sadhu Maharaj is with us and we have such a beautiful, beautiful father figure as a Gurudev and, and a friend and the love, you know, he spreads. So we are very well blessed by that. And this is a very important point. Also the line, Narutam Das, Narutam das Thakur is singing, Chanme, Chanme, Prabhu say. So he, always, he clearly says that the relationship with our beloved Gurudev is of an eternal nature. Chanme Chanme Prabhu say is, is the sign that this relationship is, is going on eternally. Radhe Radhe. Radhe. Yes, Radhe. Good. 
Dandavat, could I just ask a simple question? What um, does it have to do with my life? <laughs> no. no, sorry. I'm just not nice. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised to hear that uh, that we should seek uh, attachment to the Guru. Uh, but somehow the last thing we should want is attachment to the Guru. The Guru is a, is a guide, is the navigator who never says no, essentially. There's never refuses a request, a request for mercy. And, uh, and when we're waiting, like you rightly say, I think, or he's waiting, sorry, he's waiting and waiting. He's not waiting for anything, but for that we should say yes, that we should surrender. So maybe just a question of clarifying, is it, a, is it attachment that we seek with Guru? I don't quite understand that. Okay, you are asking about Sri Guru Charane Rati. Rati is actually a divine attachment, but it is compared to the love that a boy and a girl have spontaneously for each other. So I, you know, my attachment to Sri Guru is also a natural feeling of belonging. It's not any kind of material attachment, although I would say my relationship with Shiguru is becoming purified because I may have uh, many material concepts that I am projecting on Shiguru. I would even you know? dare to say, <clears throat> I would even yes. dare to say, Without without attachment to the lotus feet of Gurudev, there is no way of making any progress in spiritual life. But like Sadhu Maharaj, our Gurudev always says, we have to understand. What Shiva Goswami and Baba is making very clear in Prima Bhakti Chandrika, we have to understand the role of our beloved Gurudev. It is not that we uh, are only attached to the lotus feet of Gurudev without understanding his position. His position is... Like you said, Suniti, he is the navigator. He will bring us, as a representative of Swamini, he will bring us to the lotus feet of Swamini. And this is the crowd, this is the this is the sole reason why we should feel Chikuru Charanarati Ase Utama Bhakti. That is the highest goal in life, is not to see Gurudev as the highest goal, but his position in giving us to Rupa Manjari. And then to Swamini. So we should understand this deep, deep attachment to the lotus feet of Gurudev means that we fully understand his position mm -hmm. as a Sevak, as a Manjari of Swamini, who is our navigator, who will bring us to the lotus feet of Swamini. And Sri Jiva Goswami even goes further on to say that even if you love Gurudev more than you love Krishna, he, Krishna, will shower unlimited mercy upon your head. Baba is writing this in Guru Tattva Vikyan. So, but this can only happen if we have the correct understanding that Guru is not the goal, but Guru is our navigator. And for this reason, that he brings us to Swamini's lotus feet, we should have the utmost, Uttama Gati, the utmost attachment to the lotus feet of Gurudev. And I was also feeling now that Sri Guru is first of all representative of Nityananda. So Nitai is the most merciful and is always, you know, well wishing to all the souls. He wants to guide them to Goranga. So I see Nitai in my Sri Guru. And for example, in my life, Nitai has appeared in different forms. And also Srila Prabhupada and also his disciples and then Srila Narayan Maharaj. But Nitai is guiding us until we have a Divya Gyan and that means a Divya Darshan and then Diksha is complete. Means I need to develop my Diksha, my uh, transcendental desire to come to my constitutional position and to enter into my eternal service to Srimati Radhika. And that is the beauty of Shri Guru. 
And then in the beginning, I see him as Nityananda, as the general Akanda Guru Tattva. That's why our Gurudev also gives the Akanda Guru Tattva as the general Guru Tattva mantra for himself. Because that is often a very uh, heavy thing when the disciples have one mantra and they think, oh, this is the only Guru I have and I will never have another one. But actually, if I didn't get my relationship revealed, if I didn't get all the moods of the mandri or any other rasa that I am, you know, trying to uh, aspire for, and if I didn't get the Dibya Gyan, a realized Divya Dashan, my diksha is not complete until I am not realized in my Swarup, in my eternal constitutional position. Mm. I cannot, I cannot uh, speak about, uh, you know, realizing my diksha and my Dibya Gyan. It is a process. Shila Narayan much writing or speaking in his commentary on Raghavatmika Chandra, Hidden Path of Devotion in English, that the process is complete until I have realized my Svarup and I'm serving in that uh, realization or aspiration. And then Dibya Gyan really comes alive. And then I can say, or I am, you know, repeating the words like Rati or Raghunath Das Goswami, my dear friend Rupa Mandrari. And then Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur is writing in this connection. I found a very nice quote also where he says, When our bhajan is mature, our meditation, all our sadhana, all our endeavors, all our, you know, mat maturity that develops through mercy and through own greed and own desire. Then the Guru Pada, Tatma, uh, Pada uh, Padma, the divine principle of Shri Guru, will appear as Ananga Manjari. So, Ananga Mantri is the closest and first small sister of Shimati Radhika. Gurudev often says we should not even differ between them because they are like one, just different aspects of Shimati Radhika. One is going in Vrindavan and one can also go, you know, become Antaranga, uh, Bahiranga, can transform into Nitai. So, that Ananga Mandri then is guiding the living entities to come to their Svarups. I found that amazing. So, this Rati, to come back to your question, this attachment is a divine attachment, but it starts in my Sadaka Deha. It starts in my desire to come so close to my Gurudev that I will realize who I am and then I can realize who she is. And then we can serve together in our spiritual senses and the deepest friendship of eternity has begun. And that is only possible by Rati. That is this intense, condensed feelings that cannot be expressed in words, but only in feelings or in tears at the best. Crying and begging for that mercy to develop that relationship. And that is, Udavaji, why you are always in Vrindavan. I feel your eagerness. I feel your love. And your desire to go so deep in that relationship with our Gurudev. Why are you going there? Is it not because you have eagerness? Is it not because you want to develop this Shri Guru Charane Ratti? You are sitting there by the lotus feet of Gurudev. You're going through even, you know, close to death experiences and you don't let anything come in the way, my dear. You have Shri Guru Charane Ratti. 
Sorry, if I become the person. Yeah, let me be personal. Back then. Okay. Um, my question. The, the my question starts with um, worry about attachment. Gotcha. Obviously, it's simple to think material attachment. This is why you make the nice distinction to spiritual attachment. An attachment for me is is always external attachment. We we grasp onto something which does not belong to our soul, which is not what we are. It's something we have. And so certainly material attachment, we should all be um, skeptical about. So what exactly spiritual attachment means that both you and Tarun mentioned, maybe I need to clarify this. When I think of perfecting my relation to Guru, it doesn't feel like it's attachment. It feels like his part in my soul becomes fully developed and fully um, uncovered. And not that somehow that my soul has grabbed onto something, even if it's another pure soul. So I, in conclusion, I just think I need more uh, meditation on spiritual attachment. So thank you. But also, Udafji, also, what, if I may say, also, don't worry about attachment on the material platform because the power of Gurudev, or a power of a true Sat Gurudev is like that, that even if you are attached in the material sense, what I can say, I can only be materially attached because I'm not spiritually realized, but the power of Gurudev is such that even the material attachment to Gurudev will be transformed by the fire of Bhakti into a spiritual attachment. So there is no need to worry when you love your Gurudev you can love him as he is. Vishwana Chakravati Thakur says the person of Gurudev as we see him is anyway not what we think he is. You, you see, so this power of a true Sat Gurudev will uproot all that material stuff in the heart and you will love Gurudev as he, as she is at the end. So we should not worry about material attachment to the lotus feet of Gurudev. We are, if we understand his role and position Correctly, because by the power of Guru, by his translate, by his transcendental realization, your transcendental realization will come into play. So that is, it's not a bad thing to be attached to to Guru Dev in this in this sadaka deha, because everything by the process of bhakti will turn into the real thing, hundred percent sure. Like you say in the material, fake it until you make it. You know, so. Don't worry about attachment. In, I can only speak for myself. You know, the material attachment is so heavy in the material world. So if you are attached, materially attached to the person of Gurudev, it will purify your heart for sure. That is what the Acharyas and the Grandas say. Tarun Baba, thank you so much. I'd like to add something to you, what you said there. He is on the safe place, Udavaji. You are on the best place you can you can be. Um, we have the example of Chaitanya, <clears throat> who is actually the source of that what uh, Tarun Baba speak about. This feelings of this Mahabhav is actually founded, I would say, founded by uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and. Uh, there the mercy starts because he is the Mahabhav. And this this Mahabhav is uh, transformed to the disciples. And there was this eternally liberated souls around him, like Rupa and Raghunath. And they got it by the origin source and they brought it to the next line, to our line. We got it, we, we have this line. And so it is, uh, it is online since these days. And we can prove this, what Tarun Baba said, by the behave of animals who come close to Chaitanya. Even animals got it. 
animals. No, no meaning of something understand. There was an injunction in the heart, and so it works. This is, uh, it is not a process of understanding. It is a process of mercy and closeness. You are now close to one who was in contact with one who was close, who is close. Now, our Gurudev and his Gurudev and his Gurudev. So it comes uninterrupted from one soul to the other. But one soul is needed to get it. Now, if there is an interruption, you will not get it. But our line is continuously. And if you come close to such a soul, you will get it. Like these animals, we are like, even if we do not understand anything, we come close to this kind of energy. And so we will get it 100%. There is no uh, way out to so these animals in the jungle with around uh, Chaitanya. They start with dancing. It is a, it is really an act of mercy, and uh, it came it comes suddenly by mercy. Not we cannot understand this. It is uh, in f overflowing our heart, and you see, you're still in love, and it will come automatically. But some greed is needed. Some greed. Attachment is not bad. <laughs> Material attachment is very good. We have to know what is attachment. And we have to become very strong attachment. Mm. To understand attachment is very important. Reality is this sweet. We have to know the details of att attachment and good relation in the family. Mm. Material, serious. Then I become serious relation in the spiritual and attached in the spiritual life. Who is not attached, he will never attach in Guru Charan. He has Rati. to be Rati. He has to be mad in material world. Mm. And this is the service of Gurudev, slowly, slowly, because he knows how much, without breaking to the circumstances, how to turn that. This is the Kripa of Gurudev. But who is surrender? and who is following the words of Gurudev, they go faster, and who is not following from the heart and, and surrender to Gurudev, it goes mm. slow. But mm. go, how much I surrender, I see that way. What is happening? Guru opened the vision. To like to Raghunath Das Goswami, you mm. start liking to Raghunath Das understanding. This understanding is also very difficult without the mercy of Gurudev. And without mercy of Gurudev, how you will understand Rupa Manjari? And no, when no. you not understand Rupa and Vati Manjari, how you will understand Swami Radhika? Chaitanya. How you will understand Chaitanya? This realization is always mercy. Books cannot give you this. Believe me. All what I can realize and feel it is the mercy of Gurudev. But how much percentage I am close? I receive that.
If you keep the oneness with Gurudev, you will be like a similar Rupa Goswami, Rati Manjari is very similar, knowing how even the Siddha they have what he is doing. You see that process? Inner thing you will know of him. The words will become, his words will be coming through your mouth. This is a surrender and receiving the feelings and the words from him. Any guru cannot say when you surrender and living in the lotus feet of Gurudev, you will receive that. This is the mercy of Gurudev. How I can develop the Eastern star without his mercy? I cannot believe it before. How I develop love with him? It is his mercy. How develop my sarup? His mercy. How I is becoming humble? This is his mercy. How much we do bhajan, our humbleness, his mercy. How people living in the ego, he become humble because of his mercy. It changes how it is coming, from where it is coming, his mercy. How much I will keep connection in a, inside is spiritually I am receiving all the energy like him. Somebody say to you, Gurudev, oh teacher, he is not telling to you, he is remembering your Gurudev that he is seeing inside you. This mercy that he is living inside you. Mm. And that Guru Dev, slowly, slowly, how much we are qualified, he opened by this. Attachment in material, what is good? Not bad. This attachment, he knows how to move in a spiritual world. Mm -hmm. This is his mercy. Wonderful. Mercy, good. This is Kripa. Kripa has coming like a rain in our life. Mm. Rain is not thinking you are qualified or not. But this is his mercy that we put umbrella not to wait in that one. But he is not bothering. 
He is waiting the time. Why are you not keeping umbrella? I will wait. I will shower my mercy. This is his mercy. Uh, all this is not. This umbrella is made of false ego. When we put the umbrella on our Ishtadev, that is full of love. Gurudev, our umbrella is full of holes. We always yeah. get wet, you know, because we are not humble, so our umbrella has a lot of holes and then we get wet. <laughs> That's the point. But the mercy is all uh, 24 7 itself. Janme, Janme, Guru say, what is the meaning of Janme? Our any connection never break down. He always connected. We are always connected. I may never see any 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 spiritual master never think for the bad thing for his sons. And children, we always want to do better than me, better than me, more than me. This is the nature of the teacher. You are in the school, you are teacher, you want all the children to become better than me. This is the nature of teacher. Well, so teacher, you want all your students become better than you. This is the thing. Thank you, Gurudev. We are always feeling so lucky when you are sharing and guiding us. Sri Jiva Goswami has written, May Ma Maradha and Madhava's sweetness attack my heart so that we may not go astray. Attack my heart. This is also Rati. May they come so deep. May they come so intense. May they become my love so that I don't put my attachment anymore somewhere else, but always see them everywhere. Yeah. May Radha and Madhava. Yes, good. Attachment is my nature. And this is the nature also. I always searching more better. This is also my nature. Better and better attachment that we are searching for inside. And me, if they accept me and I attach them in second, we will 
Second, because I am really a practice in attachment. We don't find it. The moment I will be attached, my nature to leave other things because I I I am very clearly know the meaning of attachment. So this attachment is a beautiful thing. I no need to know what is the practice of attachment. I have very clear, detailed idea of attachment, but I don't know where to attach. So this is this is my ignorance that I attach where not no needs to attach. And this kripa comes from the Guru there that he showed me. Why not attach here? You will be so empowered that you will all by sitting, only by chanting and thinking for that, you will get everything. Why you bother? This is Guru Prabhupada. The day first we go to Sri Guru, then we don't understand his humbleness, simpleness, loving nature. Slowly, slowly takes time, faith, mind, inner, suddhi, one and my blockage become clear, I start understanding. So Mahaprabhu said, how to remove your blockage? That is to do in life. And this blockage can only remove Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam. And this bigger, and this ends also. It's removed the blockage and it brings to the goal this Mahamatra. And if you enter in the Lika also, this is the beauty of this arena. Suddha Chitta and Savana, two things only listen this. Savan is the first it's block to material thing to listen. Block yourself. We have to block it. Ignore it. And so that's it. Sarvan and so that's it. Then I will block my wrong listening and practice hard enough. All the things we are in quick, fastest. Then why it takes time? It takes time because we want to listen many things. Why we don't interested in chanting? This is our problem. It should be natural. And this natural also coming by Nurukma. (laughs) 
not by my efforts. He cannot do any efforts for that. May Radha and Mohan's witness attack my heart so that we may not go astray. Here we can read attack, Gurudev. Attack is actually a, a word from the military. When uh, there is a battle, there is an attack to conquer something. So suddenly, attack. Yeah. attack and so Jiva Goswami is praying because of what you explained the blockage to overcome our blockage we need this kind of attack that that will be uh, down make down our blockage by attacking right. <laughs> Their sweetness should attack my heart so that they can conquer my heart. Yeah. 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 So we also pray for this kind of attack. Yeah. That their sweetness will attack our heart and conquer this place forever. Right. This attack will want to break my what is that? Blockage. Blockage. Blockage, no, we make the block. damp of block. Damp. Uh. Damp. Damp of blockage. Damp of blockage. So we need one bummer to attack. <laughs> Break. Now, now you're. <laughs> what are you doing? I speak about attack and now you use your uh, iron. <laughs> You have been attacked. <laughs> Something attacking you. Yes, then they come. They give me this healing. I don't know what is that. I'm trying. <laughs> Do so, so. the armor? Yeah, <laughs> he's attacking electrical shock. <laughs> <laughs> so nice, good. You always get some new tools to help your sadaka deha. Very nice. Wow. You accept all the services. You are so generous, and so kind. So attachment is there in sadak there. <laughs> no, the uh, Sudevi is writing. It's so nice that you have this girdle for your spine. She knows. Uh, she knows probably this technology, and it's very good for your spine. So we are happy that you uh, accept all the uh, things that Swamini is sending. Guru Manjari is sending through your disciples and friends, Guru. It's very nice. Yeah, so much. <laughs> they come to see me. Ah. May Radha and Madhava, who are shining with a golden and bluish splendor, whose eyes are dancing in a spotless festival of play, who are anointed with endless cleverness in erotic artistry, and who are greatly delighted by the nectarian fragrance of their mutual dearness 
attack my mind in all respects with their sweetness. I remember, Gurudev, once you also got attacked. When your Gurudev, she, Ikso Art, Radha Govinda Das Babaji Maharaj, was giving his remnants of rice, you also were attacked, Gurudev. Yeah. Okay. It has a <laughs> I am very, very pundit, like a Brahmin. Rule and regulation following. I don't take water even that time. And I got the Siemens, my Babaji's brother, they do the Nirjala. I also try to do that way. And he, he wants to break these problems <laughs> of my this strictness. Said, yeah, Rag Bhakti and who you are watching this, you have to watch Radharani and you are watching rule and regulation that I am fasting at all. I am eating only fruits like a monkey, but inside desires are there so much. The monkeys only eat the fruits only, right? So monkey mind not working now. Inside has to be good. So he give me mercy. It's not outside purity not working. Take and change yourself. Change inside. Outside what your regulation fixing yourself. Change. And that was so great mercy that inside change. That person is changed differently. I don't want to explain that mercy. That they change my all desires slowly, slowly from material. I was so attached with material. That attachment helped me in a spiritual way. That is, I say, I, I have to know everything. Because Krishna Bhakta Hoy Varu Chatur. Chatur, how I will be thinking Chatur when I, I don't know ABC? I have to know, but use in the service of my song. And fix yourself in bhav last of That is the goal of our body. Many lollipops are there, but I want only two. This is also Guru Prabhupada. What is the use to know? What I no need to do. <laughs> I need to know what I job of others. <laughs> yes. The job of others. Yes. This is not my business. No. Yes, the purpose of Sri Jiva is here. May the indescribable sweetness of Radha and Madhava's combined form awaken in my heart in such a way that there will be not the slightest other perception. Well, this support, no other They have to cover me. Why they give this plastic body? 
they do that my nature to jump out in the plastic body and senses. But you have to cover me. You have to hold me. That is Sarnagati. When I will not learn from Gurudev, how I will learn to do with the Radharani, my Sudev? So who exactly. is I have to start practicing here to do there. He said, when I am leaving, I am not doing, then what I will do after dying? <laughs> Finish. <laughs> he is leaving, and he will die, then how I will do this? Sarana. Nobody come with down with that. Live now, do now. Realize, good. Practice. When he will leave his body, I will be attached like that. I would never leave him. And he would never leave me. Mm -hmm. wow. Why he leave this body? To become more divine that he can reach at the same time everywhere. For me, wow. he can have all his devotees who had a desire to serve Blue Parati Manjari, who had a desire to serve Rasamani. For that, she do this service. He never did us. We have a navel to navel connection, Guruji. If you always say that, how I will know anything now. And I am knowing now many things, then how I am knowing? He is my guru and I am his student. Mm. I am proud to be his student. I don't want to be a guru. I feel proud that I am a student of my guru. Oh. Yes. Yeah. That I can teach by his master. The word akranta means may this sweet dual form, Radha Mohan, not leave my heart even slightly. Sham and Gauri's blue and golden effulgence illuminates the whole of Vrindavan. Shri Radha's right eye and Shri Krishna's left eye are gladdened by wonderful movements due to meeting the Beloved. And it is as if their indescribable bodily sweetness is dancing. Their bodies are adorned with limited arts of ecstatic union, such as embracing and kissing and so on. Sri Radha Mohan's bodies are anointed with mutual love, just as the heroes or bodies of other heroes and heroines may be anointed with kunkuma. 
In other words, the hearts in which this sweetness that is gladdened by the nectar of mutual love shines, remain scented by the fragrance of she, she, Radha Mohan's love. In this eternal position, the devotees reach their goal of Nikunja Seva and its complete relish. Again, with these pastimes of meeting, there are so many pastimes of separation. Because without this duality of union or meeting and separation, there would be no variety of relish. Therefore, so many situations like control of the superiors, going and coming in and out of the house and peak within the groves occur. Swamini is not satisfied in the pastimes. Beautiful Shyam's crown, pearl necklace, flower garland, and loincloth all have broken and fallen off. So Swamini says, Sundara, just look at your condition. Wait, let me decorate you. I have spoiled your looks and I'll make you look nice again. Just sit down for a while. Then she tells Rupa Manjari, Rupa, come here. We are going to pick some flowers. Swamini takes Rupa along into the gardens and picks flowers of her own choice there. Then she comes back into the kunj and along with Rupa Manjari begins to decorate her pranas with ornaments made of these flowers. Tulasi stands on one side of the kunj and floats in an ocean of bliss as she sees her Ishvari's expertise in service. She thinks, oh Swamini, only through you such services are possible. Meanwhile, because of Swamini's touch, Mohan's body becomes adorned with ecstatic bodily symptoms, such as sweat drops that obstruct Swamini's service. Swamini gives a hint to Tulasi to stand by her hero's side and to fan him. Because of Tulasi's fanning, Nagara's sweat drops dry up, but now Tulasi begins to fan with such hum humorous expertise that the breeze she makes causes Swamini's clothes to loosen. Sham becomes agitated from seeing Radhika's sublime limbs half covered, and this causes him to engage in activities that obstruct Swamini's activities of dressing him. Tulasi softly giggles, but still she won't stop her expert fanning. Swamini then rebukes her with the meaningful glance as if saying, Tulsi, how naughty you are. How can you decorate my Nagara when, how can I decorate my Nagara when you fan him like that? Fan him nicely so that he will sit down peacefully. After receiving Swamini's sublime chastisement, 
Tulsi blissfully finds a new way to fan Krishna. Now she starts fanning in such a way that Swamini's bodily fragrance enters into Shyama's nostrils and his patience is destroyed once more. Blessed is this maidservant and blessed is her service. Yeah. This is must be in We become so close, we can talk to us and we can feel what she is telling to me and what to do to make more happy. This is the goal of our highest realization. Yes, good. If Baba says, in order to relish these pastimes, a devotee must awaken his Swarup. You see? Must. Prabhupada same thing, page four, right? We have to, devotional practices for that to develop our sarup and sarupsi. So Baba and Anandas, Babaji and, and uh, Prabhupada is no different telling to us, but we are not ready to understand. We don't want, we don't understand. Even the teacher not understand to explain it. They are Mahajans. If you imagine somebody has to do this practice, all Bhagavad Gita will be clear or not. Yes, a hundred times you have to repeat the same sloka, or one time you read it, it will be clear to you. Understand? Right or wrong? This is the problem. Hundred times they read, they don't understand. And who don't practice Saru, only they believe this, they understand. And who will practice how much they will understand more deep? We cannot understand. More deep, more deep. There are so many layers in Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavad that cannot be clear without your power, Saru. One time I am listening Srimad Bhagavad from one Rasik Bhakta with my God brother Mohan Baba. He comes and he showed all the sloka and all the chapter that the Mandiri Sarup is the only way for the Srimad Bhagavad. To, to develop perfection in Sarup is the only way. He proved with this and he is explaining everything from Srimad Bhagavad. So, so many layers 
or there in Srimad Bhagavad, we will never understand without salvation. Real meaning of the Srimad So you make us curious, Gurudev, to come through, you know, our layers and our relationship first of you to Sri Guru Padapatma to the, you know, Sri Guru, and then develop the Rati, and then go slowly but surely to the ultimate goal. Yes, this is the reason. This is the reason. If not, we do, then wasting my time. And if I not do in giving to the my life after that, how I will understand? When I will die, how I will know this? Not possible. We took the birth to understand this. But we are wasting time in other things, but not useful. We still like to live in the toilet, Gurudev, and make them very beautiful. We make the, we decorate the toilet and make this and that. And but there is a palace waiting for us. But we are the only thing we have to do. We have to change the clothes. We cannot move in the palace with this clothes. We live in the toilet. <laughs> yeah. Not possible. So that to, to change the clothes, that is the Siddha there. This is Siddha there. With that, we can enter the palace. You offer, <clears throat> and uh, Swamini is offering. This Swamini is, is offering. You, gi uh -huh. you give the you give the chance to get the right clothes, Gurudev. Mahaprabhu will do this. If you okay. love Krishna, Krishna to Manjari Bhav. Wow. That's it. If you love Radhika, you have to serve that. If you love Krishna, also you have to practice like Krishna is doing. But where you want to go? You don't love Krishna, or you don't have want to be Gurudev in the center of Radhika, you don't want to do that. What do you want to do? Mm. Gurudev, I am so glad that you, you mentioned this point about the Swarupa. Baba was once asked in a video, a little bit critical, but Nicely, he was asked, um, shouldn't Siddha Pranali be given only at the stage of Ashakti? So we all know that the stages go from, you know, Shraddha, Nishta, mm -hmm. and then Anartha Nivriti, and then comes Ruchi, and then comes Ashakti. So Ashakti is a very, very high stage. And Baba was giving a fantastic answer, which is exactly what you now said that without knowing at least knowing who you are at least getting the information siddha pranali means first of all you get the information of your siddha Deya. baba is saying clearly and is wonderful without siddha pranali you cannot even come to ruchi so this is a really really deep deep point that without what what does that mean it only means baba said that Without the Siddha there, you can never have a specific relationship revealed in the Diksha Mantras. Without knowing your mantra reform, your name, and all these things, how can you come out of Anartha Nivriti and reach Ruchi, the taste? It is not possible because you don't know who you are. And, and Suniti said that Diksha is finished when you know yourself. So Siddha Pranali is actually 
a, a, a process within the Diksha process. So without knowing our Swarup, we cannot even dream about Ruchi, what to speak of our Shakti. You can never reach a Shakti and then get the Sita Pranali because it's not possible without knowing who you are. So this is a very, very deep point that Gurudev only sees you and then he gives you Siddha Pranali and then we can reach these high stages. But without the Staiba, without the Siddha Deha, it is not possible. One thing I want to add, I realize that our Anartha Nivriti will not go. Anartha I will never leave without my Siddha Pranali mm. if we don't practice. And second, exactly. Fantastic. Never, I will come. Huh? Yes. Never Nista Fun Faith will come. Only oh. I will see instead of doubtful faith will come. Yes. Today I have faith, tomorrow I lose the faith. Yeah. Yes. So I will not faith even the Guru Dev. What about his today we yeah? are? Yes. Doubtful. Hmm. This is the mercy of Siddha Parmadi. Yes. Chai Ho. How much you go? I say Prabhupada Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. That's if you get it, you got it, everything. You don't need to read and study and bother and chanting and sarup and sari. Siddhi will come, you will chant on me. You don't want to waste your time. You don't want to talk much. You don't want to listen to Ramakatha. Change, life will change. You want to be close to You don't want to see anything. What do you want to see? You want to see yesterday. You will go to see. You are always seeing. Why you want to go here and there? That is Siddhi that you are seeing always to your Siddhi. And you are living in the floating in the mercy of Siddhi that I can do it. How on earth I will enter? Jai Shri Dade. My dears, thank you all for this beautiful meeting today and thank you Guru for all your mercy and love that you're always ready to share share and I missed my Gopinath today. You want to say something, Gopinath? Bye bye. Yeah. Thank you, Didi. Thank you. Just floating with you. I like so much your new dress that you gave Gopika for the birthday. My God, and the curly locks of Swami. That, that Gopika made with Shamapriya. Yeah. Wow, I was feeling it must become from you. No, Gopika, not Radhika made for Gopika. Radhika, <laughs> Radhika the daughter making for her mother. Really? With Shamapriya. Wow.
So nice. We just relish the, the remnants. Festival because she is the mother of the ashram. It's unexpected program was yesterday. Wow. Program from morning to evening night. Full program. Beautiful prasadam, beautiful flower decoration, beautiful Guru Samadhi decoration, Gobeshwar decoration, beautiful Kirtan. Wow. Beautiful everything. <laughs> Everybody will in ecstasy drinking our lassi. Mm. Oh. And taking breakfast, they are dance, they start dancing. And then when lunch comes, then when they see the Matajis and the Mahatmas, they come to take prasadam. Wow. And Gopika is washing the feet of all Matajis and Sadhus. It was more ecstasy come. This wow. is how to respect and serve to the Vaishnava by washing the feet and welcoming to them for the prasad. And when they give chadar and devotee and some dakshana, is ecstasy for them to see wow. that on and on this program is going on and prashad is going on and Prem prashad wow morning delivery evening prashadam wow the outsider is also full very satisfied you cannot imagine Kesha Baba is dancing, what he can do more rest. And he makes every 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 item so tasteful you cannot imagine. And the Srikhand of also was there. And mango juice was there. Gora Mango juice, good. My God. And Srikhand. Still. Yeah. Now, is a sick and is a misty day. <laughs> oh my God! So come here. I I find it. This sick and I is a misty. same thing. You will keep ten boxes morning, evening, every day ten boxes. Eat and is a fresh sick and is like oh. a two. Day. So condensed and so but fresh. Mm. You had to do? Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> so I, one thing that came to me, if I can say something very quickly. Yeah. Um, so what I realized yesterday is that, you know, we were thinking, okay, it's, um, we're only five devotees here. Or what to what to make you know what to do how to celebrate for five but then it was so intense from morning till evening then i was feeling why is this intensity there no we're only five people but we had like a, a festival of hundred because this oh is the God. moment of our guru dev if it's for wow. one person or if for five or for 500 the intensity how he serves each and every vaishnava is exactly what I feel we experienced yesterday because we're still having like a hangover. <laughs> and in the end, it's only us who are in the, here in the room who were there to celebrate. And But the uh, intensity was there. No? And this is like adopting, as Guru just said, the mood, the intensity of him so that we can really like, you know, go more in this uh, path and these feelings. Thank you. Wow. Important. Intensity. You know, Baba said, your bhajan has to be intense. You have mm. to be intense. 
that nothing can enter inside this. Or a blockage. Or what blockage you will stay when the pressure is intense? <laughs> what right. pressure is there? All will flood it. <laughs> Mercy will flood it, everything in life. That's the yeah. Thank you for sharing this. We always like to hear the latest ecstasies in the ashram and yeah. the services. And yes, intense is intense love. You see, my Chavanka, he will also flood his love there. Yes. Love. She is also intensely in love, Gurudev, and Seva mood. Oh, so, so good. So humble, so kind. She's a big doctor. No, 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 no. First time to Japan, she not allow more than three person to go there. <laughs> so big doctor. <laughs> Only four person can visit to me to see. No, no, I, no. And not open the door for everyone. Because she don't know to restrict anything. And that is Jananda Maharaj want to bring one more person, Sevaka. He cannot bring there because she not allowed her. <laughs> She's a big guy. Oh no, no. I went there. I went there. She had a tea festival, big program, big place, King Garden. Very nice place, but she's so busy, she was not there. No, 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 no. And nobody. She is not an ordinary person, and she comes to you first. Thursday. She's a great soul. It's your blessing, Gurudev. You give, you agree with this, with our desires. Yeah. For this Sangha. It's so nice. Um, Last year we started with Jayananda and this was so uh, yeah. uh, amazing tour and uh, we were so happy to you meet all our... All of that. This is the Jayananda Kripa that he <laughs> bring together everyone. This is his greatness and mercy that Something is moving in Japan by his love and affection. Nobody will forget him. He do hundred mistakes, but nobody will forget. Only he is the person who make together. No one can do before, and nobody will do that. And from there, I'm uh, the Chavan is one pioneer of Jananda Maharaj, and second is Bhakti Himagiri. Both they are coming. You will feel their love and vibration, how they are kind hearted souls. <laughs> 